Oh, good morning. Uh, we're back early, out. Early morning. Yes, very, <laughs> very early morning. We're um, we're out in the in the freshwater environment today. So we um, we're hoping for a decent winter pike or two. Forecast for the weather to be quite good. Wind direction is favourable. Hopefully, it's going to carry a little bit of the bait scent uh, towards the pike. So we will see. Probably going to be a couple hours until sunrise and hopefully we'll see some action around then. Following on from the last video, we have tried circle hooks. Um, we just didn't find that they were working at all for us, unfortunately. So we are just back to standard setups. And yes, we've got a little bit more light. We'll show you what we're doing in terms of the setups. Back soon. Hopefully with some decent fish. Right. So we'll just go through a little bait up with you. A pop on rainbow trout. The uh, way I found it easiest to do, you hang your your tray straight down, hook. It's going to go into your tail. These are fully debarbed hooks, so there's no first in there. Keep your bit of tension on it. You get your trace nice and straight, so it's lying right down the bait, nice and neat. And then, not everyone does it, but upon a little bit of bait elastic, the, the rainbow trout can be quite soft once they defrost. Um, so it's always nice to have that there so they don't fly off on your cast. I'm just going to do a quick wrap around the tail, get that hook fixed into place, quick wrap that around the body. Some people think it does a bit of damage to the presentation. For me, it doesn't really matter. Pike aren't particularly fussy. So, there we go. Perfect presentation, perfect hook point. Nice breeze pushing out into the lock today, so it'll uh, hopefully switch the pike on and draw them in a bit. But again, there we have nice big mackerel head. Again, hold your trace down. So different ways for different sections. We're using the head, the first hook's going to go right into the nose. See there. And then again, just keep it nice and straight. Next one, so straight down. And again, I'm just going to pop a bit of bait elastic on there. Just keeps everything in place. The way I'm happy doing it, we'll keep it all in place. You cast it out and a hook pops out and it's not sitting in place, so there we go. Two beautiful baits ready to go. casts out now we're fishing a fairly tight area so um, we're fishing around some some fast running water I hope to wait long for a fish oh by the way happy Christmas to everybody we're actually out on Boxing Day we've managed to escape the wires and and um, best of cheer and, and get out and catch a few fish hopefully so we'll see we'll see how we get on First run of the day. I might be. Look at that. Then is it? That's a, a good fish for here. 
Well, there we go, first run of the day. Nice little fish. Had to get a hold of it quite quickly because I had quite a light hook hold, but... Yeah, she actually spat the we'll, hook uh... at the last moment there. <laughs> so, Luckily, Liam managed to get a hold of her. So. We'll get her popped back just now. Yeah. Lovely wee fish to start the day off anyway. Yeah, well done, sir. Smacked it and dropped it, has it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah, he's grabbed it, has he? Uh, I think he's on this time. Yeah, he's come back and hit it. <laughs> yeah, he's kiting. <laughs> well, um, we didn't get much of the action on camera there, but it turned into absolute pandemonium. We had all three rods going. Um, I, I, you know, we missed another run. So we've got a few fish to show you now. So there's a small one. I'm well mended now, so we're gonna release this one. Yeah, yeah, so there's okay. second pike. Um, that was one. And then at the same time, Alan's rod went off, uh, and he's got a nice one in the net too. So I'll show you them all. Our, our little keep net system has kind of failed, so uh, we're going to have to revisit <laughs> yeah, everything that. Everything keeps falling it's over. It's weighed down by pike. But uh, I love the little fish. Back it goes. Mm. Nice to get them all well rested before them back. Alrighty. So there's Alan's. A respectable pike, that one. That was the first one. Yeah. Five, six pound yeah. So lovely to see. This one's actually got a little one that's back. Um, both where my wrist is, Alan. Uh, it's got a bite mark on it. Yeah good condition on these fish these are a little bit fatter than that first one I had so um, a few days happy days now hopefully we can get a bit of a rest before the rods go next get our netting system sorted yeah. out before it ever yeah. collapses again <laughs> well that was hectic just managed to get three rods back out now and fishing. Managed the whole keep net set up. Got that bedded in a little bit better. And now we wait, I suppose. Can't see it being long before the next run. Well, there we go. That's one recycled trout going back out. We've just kind of banded it back together. Uh, <laughs> Fourth cast out for this one. I'm just going to send this one to the stars. Or the sun in this case. Beautiful. Oops, so that locked it in. Yeah. Another small one, but yep. welcome all the same. Lovely yep. little fish. Well, Again. Maybe a leech mark. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's. Do you think it could be a leech or a lamprey? Yeah, it maybe. could be. A little lamprey. But yeah, these little these little pike are just lovely to catch. It's great to see them in this kind of condition. Yeah. We'll get our back, so we should take off like a rocket, I think. No, yeah, maybe not quite a rocket, but subtle. And there we go. Well, there we go, another fish, another kind of small one. Nice and fat, good condition on it. So, um, we'll hopefully get oh, the camera on today. We... There we go. Nice fish for Liam. Yeah, it's just a wee one, unfortunately. Well, they're getting there, though. We'll hopefully get some, um, some proper ones soon. I 
take that again because yeah. oh you got that Any second now. You're hitting the bait and then... And there's that mythical fish here that seems to always um, give a screaming take, but you never end up landing it. I think this is the way, is it? Oh. <laughs> Couldn't have found that better. Oh. Liam's just getting a, a screaming run now. I'm sure you heard that one. Uh, we had a bit of a hectic spell there with a couple more fish. Um, turned out to be the best two fish of the day. Um, so there's there's my one there. Nice little fish. Good condition on it. Gave a really good account of itself. And um, Alan at the same time hooked another nice fish. Happy with that. A lovely fish. Beautiful fish. Again, um, pristine condition. So really nice to see them in this fat condition. This one away. We've actually gotten a tad excited and thrown the rods back out. We said that was yeah. going to be the last cast. One, one, one uh, last all fish on, all back out. And that's Alan's fish there. A lovely specimen. Um, over a double figure mark, so Alan's happy with that. Another nice fish for him. And this one is just a perfect example of what you would expect from a, a wild pike. You know, just beautiful fins, nice belly on it, pristine. Um, no, no scars, no battle wounds really. So, so this one is very lively. Yeah, off he goes. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Awesome, awesome stuff. So we're happy with that. I think we were, we were really hoping we would have got a couple of better fish. So yeah, having definitely. them both at the same time, they were jumping at opposite ends of the loch. You know, coming out of the water, it was pretty awesome to see. While the other rod was also yeah. going. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get it all on film, but that's just the nature of it. It's um, just, it has been a very hectic yeah. day, so um, hopefully everyone's enjoyed the video. Yeah, <laughs> and two nice fish to round off 2023 as well, so... We say round off, we did put the rods back out. <laughs> yeah, we'll know. give them another 10-15 minutes, you and uh, know. We'll, we'll head off home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching guys, we'll see you soon. See you later.